What's up YouTube, it's me Adam2005 and today I'm going to be doing an updated video on how to install Mac Theme on Windows 7. Now, my other video was really quite good, it actually reached 10,000 views which I'm very very happy about. Um, but I decided to make this video because this is, um, I found a more better and quicker way to, do, to accomplish the Mac Theme on a Windows 7. Um, it's easier and it's, it looks better in the end. So also, um, this is a brand new like HD video so you guys can um, actually see what I'm doing. Um, so yeah. So what you want to do is you want to go ahead and go into a web browser. And once you're in a web browser, you want to go to the top and you're going to enter in this website, www.custopack.com. So custopack.com. I'm also going to have the link in the description if you can't find that. Once you're on here, you're going to click download. And you're going to go ahead and click, oh, excuse me for that, go ahead and click the server, that one, the first one. It's going to go to download over here, and let's give it a second, it'll take about one minute. So while that's downloading, we're going to go to Custom Pack Gallery, and you're going to want to go to where you see Mac OS X Line Isparat, in, yeah, Isparat DLB. Now, if you want other ones, you can also check these other ones. The, this is a really good program, so if you do like any other ones, you can always like look for the more information and check it out. Um, like let's say this one right here, I'm just checking this out. Um, you see, you can look at the theme and different like slides of it and how it would look. Um, so you see, it looks pretty good. Um, so yeah, you can pick whichever one you like. Um, my favorite one is the Mac OS X line in Sprat, which is the whole point of this video. So you're going to click download, and you're going to click the first one again, and start downloading. So I'm going to pause the video, and I'll be back once these two are done. Okay, so it just finished downloading. It only took about, I don't know, like 30 seconds to download. So what we're going to go ahead and do is you're going to want to open each one of these. So actually, we're going to open up the cluster pack first. Click yes, and it should come up with an installation. So give that a second. Click next. I agree. Um, next, 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 and it should go through. So let's just wait till this is done. Okay, so it's done, and we're not gonna click run yet. We're just gonna click finish. So you're going to go back and you're going to open the Mac OS X one. So let's go ahead and open that. Click yes. You're about to install the Mac. Click yes. And let it install. And this is going to install it to custom pack. That's what it's going to do. So please wait while application is. There you go. So now once you're on this, you're going to click choose a custom pack. Oops, sorry. Give it a second. And it's going to come up with this preview. And uh, you're going to click select op selection of options and installation. So once you click that, give it a second. And instead of doing the classic installation, you're going to want to change this to full installation. So next you're going to click next and get ready to install it. So just make sure you um, have the I understand and accept and click install. So it'll go through um, the the preparation. This is like literally you don't really have to do anything. It'll do everything for you basically. Now what I'm gonna say before I um, let you guys cut you guys loose because um, it is gonna restart your computer. That's the whole point. So what's gonna happen is once this installation is done, it's gonna ask you um, to restart your computer. So I'm just gonna pause the um, the installation because it's gonna take forever, and then I'm gonna play it when it tells me to restart. Okay. I'll be back in like a second. By the way, before I come back where this is all done, um, you're going to want to note that it is going to change stuff by itself. As you see in the background, it is changing stuff by itself. Don't worry about that. That's all normal because obviously um, it's going through the installation by itself. So here you go. It's going to say um, to continue the installation, you need to restart your computer. So that's what we're going to go ahead and do. I'm going to stop the video and I'll be back once I'm done. Okay, so I just booted up my computer, and you might want to, you'll probably note that now your um, mouse has changed and everything has been, is changing, and it's going to pop up right here. It's going to say nearing completion, um, click yes. Uh, so we're going to click yes, and 
Now it's going to finish the installation. So you're going to click yes again. And hopefully, there we go. It's going to finish doing this. This shouldn't take that long. This should just be like the quickest installation. So, um, and, and now it's changing the actual theme. So you might hear sound on your computer. Don't worry about that. Trust me. It's okay. And there we go. So we're changed, um, hopefully. And there we go. It says installation complete. Thanks for being patient. Um, you don't need to restart your computer. Um, yours might say you need to restart. It's okay if you need to. Go ahead. Okay. So click back to menu. And now you can X out. You can see that this changed at the top. So go ahead and X that out. And um, now there's going to be a few steps to making this look completely like a Mac. You're going to want to right click here. You're going to click properties. And you're going to click um, use small icons. And never combine. Apply. And then you're going to put this to the top. Click OK. And then now we're going to right click on this and click Dock Settings. And we're going to go to Screen Position at the bottom. And then here's where, if you want, you can change some of these settings to make them like bigger or anything like that. But I like it perfectly like this. Okay, so if you guys do not like your um, background that you have, if you don't want to have this one, um, you could always go to like um, Google Chrome or something like that or any other internet browser. And all you need to simply do is go to Images, and then you can type in Mac or HD Mac Wallpaper 1080p. And you can look for one that you like. Um, or if you like mine, I like these. Hold on. Uh, Snow Leopard. HD. And you can pick something like this. Right click and click Save Image As. And hopefully, when this pops up, yep, save. Okay. Then we can go to my downloads. And you see right, or right here. Right click and click Set as Desktop Background. And there you go. So that's if you want this one in the back. So that's how you do it. It's me, Avenue2005. Please comment, rate, subscribe, guys. Also, follow me on Twitter. It's at Avenue2005. Thanks for watching. Um, if you guys have any comments, just leave a comment and or you can PM me. So thanks for watching. It's me, Avenue2005, on YouTube.